Alrighty, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome to the automatic wall of flesh kill. More or less, you need to set it up first. So, uh, the concept is quite simple. As soon as wall of flesh uh, arrives at this junction here, over these explosives, hit this lever, these first explosives go off. Then one second timer, basically one second later, the next set of explosives goes, then one second, one second, one second, one second, again and again. So, let me demonstrate this real quick. We have a guide voodoo doll. And here we go. So. And the wall of flesh hits the first rope. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alrighty. So this is for the worthy master mode. So this is still a pretty consistent and easily replicatable and reliable setup. Let me real quick get back in there, restore the world to how it was before so I can just show off how it actually works. Alright, and here we go. So the way this works is quite simple honestly. The short version is, uh, we have a set of wires. The first one, the yellow one, is activated with this lever. And it just kind of avoids going through all these other timers, because the only timer we want to activate with this lever is this one here and the explosive. So basically, you hit the lever as soon as the wall flesh is on the right side, and it goes all the way through. Then, the next set of... Uh, Cables are always going to be the same, just kind of alternating colors. Um, this one here is going to be ticking after one second, exploding these things and activating the next uh, timer. So you just have alternating colors in this kind of pattern, it's kind of straightforward. Then when it is not quite as straightforward anymore, because the wall of flesh speeds up, we need to kind of speed up the timers as well. So after the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth timer is a half second timer in order to keep up with the wall of flesh speeding up. Now, here's the catch. Uh, if you just put only a half second timer in there, it's not gonna work. You have to interrupt the half second timer after it takes once, and you just put a quarter second timer above that with a different color. In this case, I chose green uh, in order to interrupt it. So basically, this one activates and then uh, the next one is going to immediately activate as well. This one is going to tick like normal. So, and then basically after the eighth one, the ninth one is going to be a one second timer again, then a half second timer again with an interrupt, then one second timer again, and then the rest is going to be half second timers all the way to the end. So, to kind of give you a brief idea, you can add like another column of dynamite or explosives right here in order to make this secure. So the basic gist of the setup is you want to kind of have this on the ceiling on relatively even ground. The reason for this is the explosives are spaced out in between here where they will hit the wall of flesh so uh, all three parts at the same time. You might technically be able to do this with just one explosive in the exact center. If you're really insecure about it, you can have three rows of explosives. I leave that up to you. For the spacing in particular, this is kind of going to be from rope to rope is 12. The reason why I use rope, by the way, is quite simply because it is the easiest way to get this entire year, uh, things out in the first place. Because you can just build this little corridor at the top of hell while also removing the ash etc as well as then just hang down the rope and approximately a few tiles down it doesn't have to be that precise by the way uh, you can then just kind of put the explosives now unfortunately the explosives always have to be on top of other blocks in this case i chose dungeon brick because when it explodes and it doesn't work then at least the dungeon bricks are still there all of the rope is going to be gone so yeah and um, that's kind of the short version so let me demonstrate this again real quick. This is master mode for the worthy, which is why there's only voodoo demons, nothing else. And we do the same thing again. So, the wall of flesh is going to be on this rope up over here. Right around there. And then he can just run away. 
You don't even have to look at it anymore. This timer here is going to tick. And now the timer above is just kind of going to interrupt that ticking again. And we win. That was actually one more than necessary in this case. It's a bit of variable damage, but um, these usually should be fine. So, you know... Oh, yeah, probably should actually kind of tell you how this works. Also, by the way, here you can see the interrupt timer. The half second or the quarter second timer basically activates and deactivates the one second timer before it ever can uh, take a second time. Okay, that's a short push. So, we have one set of explosives. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. That's all you need. Good night.